Hey guys! I'll get straight into it with a tour and I'd like to point out that not only is this a really good standalone solo base but it'll also make an excellent uh, clan base external or even an entrance way to a cave. And here's a quick example to see what that would look like. Get rid of this. You don't want it in the way if you're not going to be using it. And this is how you seal this bunker. And here's the TC. Nothing fancy about this room, but you can put a vending machine down if you're on PC. And here's how you seal the roof bunker. Now this has no soft sides on it. Although you're seeing a soft side there, it's not actually a part of the roof. It's the bit in between the two roofs that's joining that you can see. If you leave this foundation twig it will show on the outside of the base and can be destroyed and will open your bunker so upgrade it to wood and here's another floating stability bunker just to give that extra protection in case of a top-down raid Now I'm starting this base facing in the direction that I want my guardian to face in. Now I'm not going to lie to you, this is a dodgy starter and if you're on a competitive server then I strongly suggest that you have yourself a 2x1 that you live out of whilst you're building this. Now we can get to work building our first bunker. The chances are you're not going to have a lad hatch at this stage in the build. So here's a way to get out of the base without one.
Now in case you get deep on or the front bunker gets blown out, this central divide will provide a full back position that you can shoot from. And now we're ready to move on to the honeycombing on the outside. Don't worry if you can't raise up all of these foundations. You can put a half wall in there to make up for it. Um, it won't affect anything on the base. It'll just cost you a little bit more on the upkeep. And we'll just place our third and final bunker here. A little spot here just to put your battery and locker in. When you've got to this stage, you're ready to upgrade all of the base to metal. And I'll just show you quickly how I put the nose on. And uh, we need that Chad jawline. And of course the finishing touch, the bat ears. All deployables are down and the TC room is armoured and this is the upkeep. Thanks for watching guys, good luck and have fun.